And welcome to another Weatherman video game production. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody, this is your Weatherman here again with another episode of Animation Throwdown. This time we're going to take a look at the Zap Melee uh, activity. It's uh, Congregate's new activity. I guess it's going to go in between clashes for, uh, for the foreseeable future. I don't know. This is the first one. I don't know... Uh, much about it. I'm starting off at level 22. I hope that's good. Um, I, I know that's, I think 20, you have to have a 2250 SFC to, to start off at the highest level in Clash, but I have no idea what the actual rules are going to be for this, uh, for these intermediate um, melees or whatever they're going to call them um, here moving forward. Uh, the reward uh, the reward tier or reward structure looks very similar to the clashes. So it looks like if you get in the top 100, you get the new mythic uh, for the rich BGE coming up. So I've put together a zap deck, uh, basically a 10-10-5, uh, 10 zaps, 10 items, and 5 uh, PCs that I just pray hold the line, uh, you know, and so I don't get destroyed or whatever. Uh, the... You know, the chance here of getting a bunch of items or a bunch of zaps is very high. So, I, you know, you don't, you don't want to run a 10 10 5 if you, if, you can't, if you can help it because you get screwed a lot with the five, five card draw. So you could end up with lots and lots of characters, lots and lots of, of items, and basically stuff you can't play. At least, at least in this game mode, unlike Clash, um, if you play Zap, he immediately gets the benefit of a double attack and double health. So that's kind of cool. So at least if you get all character cards, you could just throw a bunch of Zaps down. And he should be able to hold, uh, hold the line by himself for a while. Um, now the AI I'm going up against here, I don't know how many people have even bothered to build a zap melee deck so you know i'm not going to really be critical of what they're doing although it is weird to see two blue epic uh, country club stands uh pc country club stands it's a little odd but whatever um let's see don't recognize the guild kung fu but again that doesn't really matter that much i got a zap uh and He's got a Wild Woman Jeff above it. I think I'm just going to go with the Unsharp Scissors Zap because he's got the Crazed, and really, Wild Woman Jeff can't do anything. He doesn't have Hijack, so he can't steal the Crazed. Um, I've got another Zap, so I'm going to put him down in front of Dr. Bobenstein, and it won't matter. He already, my first combo already took him, took him out. So, let's see. Next stage here. Going up against Brujex, a guild I find I do recognize. Uh, Zap. He's going. So it looks like he is. I've finally found somebody that has built a Zap deck, and he's gone with Zap magazine cover. And I've got to find out what I want to put up against him. Um, let's see if I don't want to do the exact same thing because I'll probably lose. So I think I'm going to go with Strategist Zap because that will uh, cripple him. And he's got payback. He's got a real high payback. But if I can keep him crippled, at least I won't be getting hurt both ways, if that makes any sense. Um, so it looks like... Oh, and there you go. My Strategist Zap was able to take out his magazine cover Zap. So that's good. I, now that I know that, I'll, uh, I can do it again. Um, why not? If it worked once, it should work twice. Um, cripple and, uh, punch away this, let's see. So this guy went with a PC. I can't really tell what PC that is. The, the letters are too tiny. Um, doesn't really matter. It's not zap related, so it won't benefit from any, anything here. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead with my Unsharp Scissors Zap. That's just an item card, so nothing there to slow that down. And I was able to take the win. 
Uh, so doing pretty pretty good here so far. Uh, one zap coming up against one zap deck. Um, let's see, I, I got a zap, which is awesome. Um, I, I know that's not always going to be the case. It's going to be frustrating when I get a handful of just item cards. Uh, that was really my only item card to combo with, so I get Warhorse this time. I, I went with a uh, variety. I didn't want one of all, you know, one uh, BGE, so I just picked Zap and picked some of my favorite uh, BGE combos for him. Uh, now he's going up against Wild Woman Jeff, and since that is not a Zap character or combo, I feel pretty confident uh, that he's going to win. Hi. So <laughs> Wild Horse and Wild Horse... Uh, should build on one another and take out uh, that pair real quick. Uh, there you go. Um, got another zap. And, you know, again, this this is a little different mechanic than clashes or other BGEs we've played in that the second you put down that zap, he, he gets that buff. So remember that if you're watching this video. Put... Put the zap down. If you've got the zap, put him down. He's going to get double uh, double attack, double health. It's worth it. Um, so I had a, my mythic zap. I got really lucky there. He's going up against Knife Fighter Stewie. Uh, luckily, I do have an item card to combo. Um, I'm just going to go, even though that Stewie has hijack, it's got a hijack of... 11 or something i don't know whatever my unsharp scissors zap will will demolish it pretty quickly here um the again anytime you have a zap you just put them down <laughs> get those get that bonus this time i you know limited options i have warhorse but he's going to complement unsharp scissors uh, nicely with the attack and uh that takes me on to the next level uh, so I'm up to 3870 in the trophies here, and well, that's it. That's, uh, I guess I'm at level 28, right? Uh, so that's the same as Clash. Um, I get the same initial milestone as Clash. Let's see how I rank um, compared to others. So got 24,000, uh, 21,000, 20,000. And I ended up with what, 19,000 going perfect? Starting at level 22? I, I don't know. I may have to contact Kong and see if what the, what the uh, starting level is based on or if these guys are just taking advantage of a um, cheating uh, under a new system here. We'll find out. That's what uh, con contacting congregate support is, is all about. We find out whether... Uh, people are if there's just a new mechanic that we're not aware of or if people are cheating and if they are hopefully we get those accounts banned uh and that's all i've got i hope you enjoyed the introduction to melee zap and if you have any uh comments or feedback please like the videos uh subscribe and uh enjoy we'll see you next time signing off